dear learners let us now come to again one of the important apparatus used in electronics that is called a multimeter now multimeter means what multi means many so in this multimeter you can measure various characteristics like current voltage ac voltage dc voltage or the gain of the transistor or what is the type of the transistor what are the different terminals of a transistor these are the various things that you can measure let us the which section deals with what part you can see right now it is in the off mode in my right there are various called v with a single sinusoidal wave so it shows that it is voltage but ac next you can see this is ampere means a a gives ampere so you can measure current here you can see this v with a straight line straight lines means a dc so you can measure here dc voltage ohm ohm denotes resistance or we know that the unit of resistance is ohm so when it is ohm means in this range you can measure resistance here there is hfe you all know what is hfe it is the current amplification factor of a transistor so we can put this knob over here and you can measure the amplification factor of a transistor here there is a b this b is called the continuity tester means if i have this two probe and if i place this knob in the b position so now it is in the b position so when i touch this you can hear there is a sound of b this gives a continuity test if i take this wire suppose i have a wire and i want to check whether this wire because it is insulated from outside it may be open from inside so i am not able to see from my eyes so if i connect this one in one part and the other of this multimeter with this other so if this wire is continuing there should be a sound so this says that this wire is okay if there is something open in between the wire this sound will not be there and if i move this suppose in this range you can see here the various ranges of volt dc from here this white line to here when it is in 200 that means you can measure a maximum of 200 volts if your input is more than 200 volts then this will not be displaying 200 volts okay now these are various ranges let's move it to then this range this green part this different way this gives a measurement for ohm if i put here it is saying 20k 20k means you can maximum measure a resistance of 20 kilo ohm if you put a resistance across these two terminals and if you are this uh, if the value of the resistance is more than 20k and you are putting at 20k that it will not be viewed then you have to place it in the range of 200k it may be more than 20k this is how you measure the values of your resistance similarly if you go more if you give here you see there is 200 micro ampere 2 milli ampere 20 milli ampere 200 milli ampere these are difference range in amp milli amperes or micro amperes so whenever you are measuring a current in the range of micro or milli ampere you have to put this red wire in this and you have to black wire over here if i see make you proper you see it is written voltage ohm and milli ampere that means that when this red wire is here it can measure voltage resistance and a current of in the range of milli ampere and here it is seeing that 10 adc means 10 ampere so when you are measuring a amp current of range of more than 10 ampere then you have to put this wire from here and in the range of 10 ampere here but this black wire will be common for both whether you are measuring a current of milli or micro or you are measuring a current of ampere this black will be at the same point difference will be at just this red wire that will be for 10 ampere range here for milli ampere range this is how a multimeter works we will actually see the working of this multimeter in the experiment but i am just giving you a demonstration right now so that you will be familiar with various readings of this multimeter thank you